it's my favorite time of year again it's hatch chili season so today we are going to be making brisket avocado stuffed hatch chilies let's get to it so we got our batch of chilies here love this time of season these things are awesome only come out one time a year unfortunately but uh what we got to do first with these things is get these uh, skins roasted off we have the grill here just kind of heated up to well, medium and uh, you just want to get the, the skin on these nice and bubbled. Okay, so I said medium. I cranked this thing up pretty high. We've actually got flames coming out. That's what you kind of want. You want to get the, uh, the skins nice and charred here. This is basically what we're looking at. I mean, the smells coming off are absolutely incredible. So once these get to this roasty part, we're just going to basically throw it in a bowl here. And we're going to cover it with saran wrap. And let it sit for about 15 minutes or so and what that's basically going to do is steam the skin off of this and then we'll go in and we'll peel all the skin off these things will be ready to stuff they're gonna be amazing the cool thing about doing this is just because these come out once a year if you can get a big batch of these things doing them on the grill you roast them when they're fresh throw them in a ziploc bag or a, a vacuum bag throw them in your freezer and they're good all year long and then you can use them for whatever you want enchiladas you know casseroles salsas whatever these things stay in the freezer very easily so these look about done i mean i get that so like i said now we got those off we'll just cover these in foil or in foil <laughs> now we got these off we're just going to cover these in saran wrap like i would said if anybody knows how to work this stuff let me know please and you can already kind of see the condensation building up in there and what that's going to do is that's like like i said just going to steam the skins off and make it a lot easier to peel so we'll let this sit we'll start getting the rest of these ingredients put together Hatch chilies are done. You see these, they just, the, the skin just peels straight off. Super easy, just kind of comes out like a whole husk here. That steaming process is what really helps this. So now that we got our chilies here, time to make the guacamole that's gonna go in with the brisket inside these chilies. So we're doing an American style guacamole, which if you have never had that or don't know what that is, it's guacamole with sour cream. So super easy. Very few ingredients. We got avocado. All right, we got two avocados in. We're gonna do about two tablespoons, or two dollops, however you wanna look at this, of the sour cream, that's going in. You don't want it to overpower it, but like I said, it's gonna add a creaminess, like nice texture to it. It's also gonna like help mellow out some of that flavor from the chilies. Next, we're doing some fresh ground pepper, a little salt. And then my feeling is it's not guacamole if it doesn't at least have one lime in it. So the juice of one lime is going in. And then we squish. This is just super simple. Just mix this up. And then I found once you get it kind of mushed up with the uh, mortar or the pestle, I think the pestle is the one you squish, right? Anyway, <laughs> once you get it pretty mixed up, it's easier just to get a spoon in here and just kind of mix it up the rest of the way. And there you have it. You can see it's, it's kind of a, a lighter texture than, or a lighter color than normal guacamole is, but I still get, no, oh, that's so good. It's, it's creamy. It's not, it's not like a normal guacamole. It's a, it's almost like a guacamole sour cream. Um, it's got this nice creamy texture to it. Like I said, it's gonna, I think, go great inside these chilies. So let's get the brisket going. One more quick thing before we get the brisket done. We're gonna take a Ziploc bag here and we're gonna dump all this guac that we just made into it. We're gonna make it kind of like a little pastry bag. We're just gonna cut the tip off the bottom of it and that way we can pipe it into these chilies a lot easier than trying to spoon it in. We'll get all this shoved in. And like I said, you got a little piping bag. Cut the little tip off, perfect. Probably should have started off that this is leftover brisket. This is from my uh, Hawaiian style brisket slider video. Had a little bit of extra, figured it's got some fruitiness with the pineapple. There's actually gonna be some chunks of pineapple in here. Uh, so, something to do with leftover brisket. We're gonna line the skillet here with some avocado oil. And then we're, since it's already cooked, we're basically just heating this up. We're not really needing to cook it, right? We're just looking for, I, I diced it into just little chunks so it'll be easy to shove into these chilies. All 
All right, this is done, super simple. So now to stuff these things. I cut little slits right inside here so you can see that they're just kind of opened up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pipe this guacamole just straight in here. Create a nice little bed of that in here. And then we're just gonna throw that brisket straight in. Got some of those pineapple chunks in there that's gonna be really good. Make sure you get it all nice and stuffed. And then lastly, we're gonna cut a piece of pepper jack cheese here we got. Let's see how I wanna do this here. Let's put it like right over the middle. You don't wanna hide all those goodies, but put that right there and then maybe one or two more pieces of meat on top. Let's get these in the skillet. We're gonna steam them just to melt that cheese a little bit. These things are done. Can't wait to give them a try. Okay, so here we go. We got the skillet on medium. Like I said, we're just gonna throw these back in really quick. There's still a bunch of oil, grease and fat from the brisket that was in here in that avocado oil. And then we'll just pour just a little bit of water in here just to get a nice steam. And kind of cover it with whatever lid fits. So this is only gonna take a couple seconds. We'll pull these things off. Can't wait. These things look and smell absolutely incredible. So let's give it a try here. I wanna make sure we get a bite of at least everything. So we got that guacamole, the, the hatch chili, the jack cheese. Ah, oh, that's just gooing everywhere. And that leftover brisket. So uh, I am telling you that American guacamole with the sour cream is what makes this. It, it just adds a creamy texture, mellows out any heat that was in that chili. That brisket is just absolutely incredible. Ton of flavor with that. I guess that's it. I'm gonna have to go finish these things. Guys, we're barbecuing. Please don't forget to subscribe. Any comments, thumbs up, ring the little bell. We appreciate it all. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers.